This is Ontario, Canada's most populous province by a large margin, accounting for almost 40% of all Canadians. It's a popular area for leisure, tourism and fun in the sun. But not today. There will be no tour guide on this trip. This is Man Tracker. He's an accomplished rider and a no-nonsense cowboy, trained to track and capture. This may be a popular area for holidays, but today it will become Man Tracker's hunting ground. Meet city boys Al and Garfield, their best friends and the tightest of teammates. They grew up together in northwest Toronto, but now Al's looking towards the future as a motivational teacher and a poet. Because all that I conceptualize, I actualize in the seed of my thoughts. I could have been dead right now, really and truly. I've looked down the barrel of a gun. I've had to keep my mind focused, you know, and not lose myself in that moment, you know, but channel that energy through to get me to the next destination. And for me, with it, like I said, within the next 36 hours, that destination is from start to finish, and I plan on getting to that finish. We plan on getting to that finish, you know? Al's best friend Garfield works hard, splitting his time between working nights, university, and his family. I want to uh, put what I've learned, my, my life experience, um, my sports, uh, my athletic ability, I want to put it to the test. Bring that intensity, bring that desire, bring the fire, and that's what we got. The man versus man, man versus nature, man versus himself. Like, this is it. It's city versus country, prey versus predator. The prey have a compass, map, and 36 hours to find the finish 40 kilometers away. Whereas Man Tracker has no map, no compass, and no clue where the finish line is. His only helping hand in this painstaking operation is local blacksmith Barry Keown. Oh, John Wayne, he's, he's been my idol ever since I was a child, ever since I saw him walk across that silver screen, the way he walked and the way he talked. It's just the way he did things. I, I like it. I guess I'm a little bit of a redneck at heart. This frustrated cowboy is ready to take down the prey. We'll have those pilgrims rounded up so fast they won't believe it. Two black men being chased by a white man on a horse? <laughs> If he thinks that, you know, a couple black guys from this city, you know, that, that, that you know, we, we got big pants and hats turned backwards, that, you know, we're easy prey, uh, he's got something, something coming. The two prey we've got are straight out of the city. They've grown up in the city. They haven't spent more than 10 hours in the bush. Don't underestimate. Do not underestimate. Tracker, guide, prey. The opponents are ready for action. It's all a matter of will. We've seen victory. We can smell it. We can taste it. There she goes. The prey have a two-kilometer head start. The trackers have until sunset on day two to capture Al and Garfield and end the chase. But Man Tracker has never experienced terrain like this before. This is suburban warfare. A lot of people traffic. We're going to have to be careful we don't get sidetracked. The prey try to come up with ideas on how to throw Man Tracker off their scent. Let's see if we can move this. Or maybe we should leave it, let them think we did this. Are you trying to make the trail easier for the guy to follow? You gotta put stuff in his way. The prey are out of their comfort zone on this mission, but Man Tracker's not exactly at home. This is no backcountry terrain. You figure this is about where that flare went off? Must have been awful close here, yeah. We got dog tracks and people tracks all over the place. We're just going to have to pick a trail and go. So far, there's no hard evidence for Man Tracker to go on. There are a ton of tracks in this area. There's trails everywhere. It's going to be a, a real gamble, a real guessing game. We took what was the highest probability of direction, and away we went. Go. Where the oh, I don't know. Where's the compass? You're supposed to have that, man. No, it should be strapped to the bed. You should have that, man. Right here. Yeah. I put it, you gotta put this joint in a place where you can you can get access to it, man. Huh? North is this way. Which way? And, and this compass, I think this compass broke, man. Like it's defective, cause I turn here. That's what I told you before we left the house. And this thing keeps turning. 
It's north in every direction. Uh oh. This way. Al and Garfield may be struggling with the navigation, but what they don't realize is by sticking to their original path, it's kept them well ahead of Man Tracker. I uh, really felt at the beginning that we were really off on a very bad start. There was just so many trails, so many people, and it was worn down like a playground there. How, how are you going to find the tracks in a playground, eh? They're, they're all obliterated. If somebody lays down a trail, chances are in five minutes there's going to be tracks on top of them. Who made the last tracks? And, and that's usually what you're looking for is fresh tracks. <laughs> and they might not necessarily be the freshest. Let's stay off this track for a while. Okay. Make sure we didn't leave no, no treads. Yeah, we're good. He ain't find. He ain't finding nothing. Well, we got about six different tracks right here. And if he does, he's got to get off his horse and do all that forensics. We know that he hates getting off his horse, and we just wanted to piss him off as often and as quickly as we could. Bad boy, bad boy. What, what you gonna, gonna do? What, what you gonna, gonna do when they come for you, bad boy? We got a really good toe kick right there. Everybody else is just going slow. There's somebody on the move. The toe kick leads the trackers in the right direction, but the prey veer off into the bush. Oh. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh. It's like walking the tightrope, baby. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Nature can really kick your ass. <laughs> We're in line. <laughs> You all right, dude? I'm good, baby. I'm good. You're not a hiker until you go through oh, like that. For real. For real. I told you about the time I fell rollerblading, right? And I don't, I've never been to Boy, Boy Scouts or Boy Cubs or whatever that thing's called, man. I've, I've never done anything. I, I think I've, I've had maybe one or two woodsy experiences in a cottage somewhere. But other than that, no clue. Keep going, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This is our spot right now. Yeah. It's where we gotta make up ground on them. Al and Garfield's inexperience in the bush is starting to show, and Man Tracker is closing in on them. Like, it is a resort, but we've got some pretty fresh toe kicks right here. It hasn't been done too long ago. All the dirt is on top here. There's another one right here. All this dirt is on top of these leaves and you can see the dark patch through the middle. That's the, uh, the wet layer underneath that they've disturbed, but this is really fresh. There's nothing to say that it's our prey, but it's as fresh as we can find. Until we see who's making them, we can't say for sure, but we'll hope it's the prey. Dude. You hitting the trail? Yeah, man. You getting soft on me? No, man, there's a lot of footprints. He won't know if it's ours or not, man. OK. OK. Good decision. Good decision. Good decision. You're the vet. That's why I call him the vet, you know? He's the veteran, man. He's been through things that I haven't, you know? And uh, he's a real good voice of reason for me. Hey, what is it, beer? <sighs> man, I ain't no beers up here. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> let, me, let me hear you say that to big old bad grizzly. You're just letting the locals scare you, man. Oh, there's somebody on the horse. There's somebody on the horse. Somebody on the horse, man. We don't know. We don't want to. We don't know what a sidekick is, man. Nah, it's a few people on horse. It's a, it's a horseback. It's like a horseback ride. No, somebody's coming down this way, man. Somebody's coming down this way. Al and Garfield are on the run from Man Tracker. It's only the first hour of the chase. But bush fever is already setting in for these two city boys. OK. Something just happened. We thought we saw some horses. Tell the people. I ain't going to lie, man. I panicked. I panicked. It's my first blunder. I saw some horses. First instinct was to run, man. Al pointed out to me that uh, these people are on a pony ride. My heart's beating. All right. OK. Well, we Get gotta it together. Do. Pull it together. Hey, yo, you good? I'm good. You good? What we got to do? We got to get back on that trail. OK? All right. <sighs> Shit, it's hot out here, man. <sighs> we 
We're on the move, man. Let's go, baby. How are you? Yeah. You guys haven't seen a couple of guys running down the trail, have you? Yes. Have you? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Uh, in, uh, equipped like soldiers. Let's go. Were they wearing boots or running shoes? <laughs> oh, that's even better. I never thought about looking for witnesses. I, I've never guided on a hunt where you could ask a witness if you've seen a deer or a moose go by here. Some unexpected information from a couple of hikers has taken the search up a gear. This definitely reminds me of uh, the Underground Railroad and, and the slaves running away. You know, two black guys on the run, man. We're keeping that in mind, and that's what's fueling us forward, you know? It's kind of like we're doing for our ancestors, man. That's right. You know what I mean? That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. The prey continue forward while Man Tracker follows up his lead. But so far, the hiker's tip off hasn't helped him at all. I'm just going to walk through there. See, right here, we got a heck of a decent boot print. But it doesn't seem that fresh. It's not as fresh as I'd like it, that's for sure. While the trackers continue to search for fresh clues, the prey are confronted with another hazard in the suburban woods. I don't like this golf area stuff. It's too exposed. We got to get into some cover. We got to use that to our advantage. That's real talk. Keep your eyes open here, huh? Hey, there's a path over there, dude. Oh, hey, hey. Here comes a cart. Maybe we can hit you a ride. Let's see if these white folk will give us a ride. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey, smile, huh? Smile. Hey! On the way back? This is New York City or something. I think uh, we'll go over that bridge. There's a trail that brings us around the highway. The prey continue to run from the hiking trail towards a path that links them to the highway. But Mantrak is not far off course. I guess we could always stop and play around. Get set to duck. There's something on the highway up there. Yeah, there they are. Hey, you see those two guys on horses up there, man? They're looking right at us. Man, I'm telling you, I saw, I saw, I saw a couple people on horses right, across, right over there at the edge of that golf course. Well, they're running now. Let's head for the bush. That is so great. You good? Oh, yeah, watch this pole. Nice, I'm nice, I'm nice. We were just kind of wandering around with a fart in the mint out here. We uh, lucked out and found them walking down the road. Now all we have to do is get off of this golf course without getting hit, get on the highway, try to get hit there. An early sighting has given the trackers a boost, but they have to tread lightly en route to the prey. Once they hit the pavement, we were toast. We were far enough back, we couldn't run up and catch them. If we had a run up, you know, horses on pavement, if you try to stop them on that stuff, you could go a long ways and they fall down and do that. Check down there. This is gonna take us back into that airport. Good tracks here in the sand. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Horse is right there. Right. Right. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that. Yep. Let's get up top. Get up top. That is. Come on, Garfield. Come on, Garfield. Talk to us, man. We just seen Man Tracker. They're trying to take his toll on me, man. We gotta know what's going on. I'm cool. He ain't ready for us. He think we sit city slickers. But nah, we got on him. Hey, you hear that? This suburban chase is heating up. Just beyond an active runway of a local airbase, Man Tracker is finally in capture range of his prey. But Al and Garfield have taken cover in the bush. I swear I'm hearing things, man. I don't think he can come in here, right? But I just need, I, I just want to make sure I know where he's at. All right, ready to make a move? Yeah, man. The plot thickens. Yeah, I got footprints right there. Foul tracks are slowing the trackers down. 
know, more tracks over here. There's tracks everywhere. There's little side roads that people have drove down. We've got two toe kicks. Both of them are pretty fresh because this has got the dark soil underneath it. It's kind of the same tread pattern we've been following, but they're going that way. Maybe they did turn around, hit that turn around and go cross country. It doesn't make sense. gonna go through there nothing to go to well we're gonna have to go back here and see if we can get another trail that goes around and there's no way I'm going through that crap while dead-end trails stump the trackers the prey stick to the bush I make sure we know what we're getting into right here and Al takes control of the compass so we're heading north north is this way looks like this might be another trail uh-huh Yo, this bush is killing me, guy. But think about it like this, Garfield. This is what our ancestors had to go through, and worse, you know? And they were literally on the run for their lives, mm -hmm. you know? So, a little bush that ain't gonna do nothing. Suck it up, let's go. You could be anywhere. It's hotter than jerk chicken out here. <laughs> Hey, I'd love a jerk chicken right now. Oh, yeah. Getting a little gooey. I'm gonna wait right here. The horsemen enter Swampland, and Man Tracker has his sidekick check for sinkholes. A calculated risk with Al and Garfield in such close proximity. and Predator are heading towards a swampy face-off. Hey, keep your eyes open. Stay focused. Hey, hey. Land tracker. Bears up. Shadows in there. Everything's moving. We heard two really good cracks. There's something big in there. Oh, I can't believe this. I got a weird feeling. I got a weird feeling. What do you think? I, mean, uh, I don't know if he's close. I don't know if it's just me, kind of anxious. But, uh, we just gotta keep our eyes open, man. I don't know, you know, we're in the thick of things, but this guy could be anywhere, peering down on us, you know what I mean? He's got a guy who knows the area. We don't know where the hell we're going. <sighs> just keep an eye out, man. I just got this weird feeling, you know? Spider senses are tingling, buddy. Yeah, spider, spider? Spider. Spider. Spider senses. Oh, it's Peter spider Parker. Spider-Man uh, sp spider up, <laughs> up in them woods right now, yeah. swinging through that. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Hey, I told you we should have brought the ghetto blaster. We'd be up in this mother. Yeah. Like Radio Raheem. Do the right thing, dog. Do the right thing. Al's prey drive goes up a notch, pushing them deeper into the bush. Here they come. Don't move. Barry, Barry, don't move your arm.
This other man, Jack. It's day one of the chase, and Man Tracker has the prey in his sights. Garfield and Al have managed to take cover in the swamp, but they're visibly shaken. Watching those guys go through that bush, my heart was just freaking pounding. My heart's pounding now. Come on, pick that back up, dude. He could be anywhere right now. Okay, let's go back out to the trail, because they're swamped out. Yep, they, they are. gotta come back that they way. They gotta come back out. My sack's busted. This thing come right. Oh. It's a great time for this to happen. You know, we still had our food in it, so it, it was very essential that that backpack came with us because it was still pretty early in the, in the chase and we would have been done for. Would have been done for. <laughs> he said something while, while we cut through that, too. He's like, hey, why are you running? Sound like a real redneck. Hey, why are you running? You know why we're running, fool. This from the dollar store or something. We're going to do our best to keep them in there and let them sweat a little bit. I'm gonna have to swim across this water here. I ain't swimming as a cop. When Garfield was like, yo, man, we gotta swim, I was like, hell no. I ain't swimming across no swamp, man. <laughs> no. So we kind of snuck around the edge of the swamp and went up and around. Let's get our wits, get our wits. They're gonna scratch themselves up good if they decide to bail out of there. <laughs> I think they're waiting for us to make a move. Could be. The trackers ride through the woods to try and spot the prey. But Al and Garfield backtrack to the trail, right under Man Tracker's nose. Don't, 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 don't. They're there. Yeah. Garfield, he's there. He's that way. Go that way. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, he's there. Trust me. I think they've, they've either gone past us or they've gone back, because we come in and pinched them off here. I don't think they've gone that way. I think they've gone back behind us. Let's go back to the road. Ben, there's a road ahead. I just saw a car cross. The prey aren't going to give up easily and sneak back to more familiar terrain, the pavement. Hey, keep your head in the game, baby. And without any recent sightings, Man Tracker is forced to change tactics too. Listen, if anyhow you see these guys up, up ahead of us, beep your horn for me as loud as you can. Yeah? Appreciate it. Get where you're going safe. Okay. The good guys the good guys? The prey have thought outside the box and have used the suburban town to their advantage. Now, do you think that was a fan? It was the passenger blowing the horn. You could see the hand reach it over. The alarm bell sounds and the prey make a run for it. We've got some tracks here. We've got a fairly decent track right here. Big time, yeah. Let's take a wander down and see. We'll follow these and make sure they're not a false trail. Yeah. If we see them, it's yeah. steep enough that we can just uh just slide our way down. Slide down. And the horses can't come down to get us, man. Hear that? I heard something. Shh. We just heard something crash over in here. We're going to try to go that way. Tracker! 
Come get us! You're not as good as we thought. You think he's gonna catch us? How's he gonna catch us? The guy's about 65 years old. That's a long ways down there. So disappointing being this close and having to quit. Well, he'll be back. The hell with him. Garfield and Al have had a lucky escape. The cliff is too steep and the river too long for the riders to get within touching distance of them. Tracking in the dark is dangerous, so they call it a night. I thought that these guys were getting pretty bold, but I thought, you know, I, I'm going to catch up on you guys and make you eat these words. The prey are relieved to have survived day one. <laughs> hey, man trucker came through there right now. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. Got oh. the water, man. They go across that river. Is it going to be tough for us to get across? It'll be tough enough, but there is a place we can get through with those horses. But it won't be a cakewalk, that's for sure. It's day two of the chase. After Al and Garfield's clever escape down a steep cliff last night, Man Tracker must rethink his strategy. We're up, just about ready to roll. Tracker could be anywhere, you know? I want to reach that finish line. I've seen it. I've seen it. We're recharged, we're pumped, we're hyped, but there's a sense of urgency now, right? Because uh, not only are, are we running from the tracker, but there's a time factor also involved. We got to take some more chances, because we're here to win. So we duck into the bush, crossed over, and then hit the trail that took us to the river, jumped down to the river, and uh, started slushing our way through. Hey, yo, yo. I hope there's no sharks in here. Wait till the folks back home see this. <laughs> Two black guys in the river. Man Tracker takes the trail downriver and hopes that he can find fresh tracks to help him determine the prey's direction of travel. There's a lot of people out there that figure I ride a horse and I look at the ground and I see a few tracks and, you know, it's, it's a cakewalk. The mental strain and stress on your eyes is huge. I haven't seen any tracks. As a tracker, when you're actually in a search and rescue tracking, you're, you're not the main tracker for more than two or three hours. Let's go back the other way. I haven't been seeing for tracks coming up here. Why don't you go back down between here and the bridge, see if there's anywhere they've cut off. Go to their last tracks. I'll go in here and see if maybe they cut across this hayfield. Determined to find the prey's campsite, Man Tracker splits up from his sidekick. Whoa, what is this? And it pays off. We got a ton of tracks right here. Probably went down to the river to fill our canteens. Somebody left a note for somebody. It's a brand new day with a beautiful sunshine. Our goal is clear. Kick the tracker's ass and reach that finish line. Poetically, Al St. Louis. Poetically. <laughs> <sighs> Gonna make me sad to catch these guys. <laughs> yeah, right. If they had done nothing, we might not have found their campsite. We didn't want to leave any tracks. Our ancestors, you know, when, when the, the hounds are chasing after them, you know, I mean, they're sniffing, they're sniffing, but as soon as you go through the water, they lose the scent, right? So that was the whole premise of walking through the water. Pharaoh, lead the way, Moses. Let my people go. <sighs> Let my people go. Yeah, good, good tracks in here. Everybody thinks, you know, the old cowboy myth, get in the water, follow the water down, da 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 you never see your trail. It's actually easier to track somebody in the water than it is on ground. The water just, it's clear, and the tracks are right in the bottom. We could see every step they took on the rocks. Holy That is steep. Yeah. Come on, come on. Atta boy. You can see right there in the sunshine, that lighter shade of stuff in the water. The prey have come down over there and it looks like they've walked down through the creek right there and come out right here. 
The river bends are the prey's only camouflage, and Mantraka is hot on their trail. Getting into some rock here now. This could be tough to track. We're coming up this river here. Um, that's him. He's on our ass. You think he saw us? I don't, I don't think so. See right here? They say that, you know, tracking in rocks is tough, but look at these water drops right here. There's water drops there. All these rocks right here in this two-foot space have water drops on them. We're close. See, there's another thing right there. This rock right here, see all the fresh dirt on that rock right there? That's come out of a tome right there. And they've gone up right there. You know, in bright sunshine, it doesn't take long for that water drop to disappear on a rock. It's a no-brainer. Well, but we just came out of the river thinking that we had some, a good gap between that chump, that chump on a horse, and all of a sudden he showed up. Got the initials of my, my kids and my wife on my workout gloves. Family, fist, unity. I just draw strength from them. I don't want to disappoint them. Northeast, northeast, all right? This is a guy's driveway. We'll go back out there. Hey, how are you? You haven't seen two guys with backpacks running through here, have you? Which way'd they go? Just back out the gate? I assume they went that way. Cool, thanks, man. Man Tracker gets some help from a passerby and wastes no time in checking out the lead. Well, we gotta head northeast. So we gotta go down this way. Going down here take us off our path, because it's a race against time, right? Did you hear that? Hopefully he's behind us, far behind us. I got him ahead of me. Time to catch us a prisoner. Let's go give him a thrill. How you feeling? I'm all right, man. Somebody order a taxi! Right there. That's half he's on our ass. Time to catch us a prisoner. Al and Garfield are only five kilometers from the finish, but after a frantic chase with the trackers, they've lost a vital piece of equipment. I don't know if it was the horses or my heart, but they were all clashing at the same time, and we cut left, man, and that's. When I lost the compass. <sighs> compass, man. So I, I picked up this compass, and it looks like it came from a box of Cracker Jacks. They lost their eyes in the bush. It's like me losing my horse. It took away their ability to go through the bush. me that he lost the compass uh, when we darted. Do you know what? It really, it really brought me down a bit. But I felt I couldn't really show my emotions right there and then, you know. That's just a minor mishap. It's a minor mishap. All right, yeah, man. We gotta, we gotta keep going forward, all right? We gotta follow this trail. That trail's gotta lead us. It's gotta lead us somewhere, all right? We're gonna 
to set up a double ambush. Based on what these guys have done every time we've jumped them, they've ran down the trail and boogie left. Okay, let's go. Stay with me. Yeah. I want you to go right in here, just behind these little pine trees. Kind of stay hidden. As soon as you yell, come out of there. I'm going to be right down here, down the trail around the corner. They're going to run right into me. Right. They might see you there, but there's, there's got a hell of a hill right here. Gives you a chance to get out, and get around them. Yep. And if they do go up and over, I'll be seeing them, and I'll come in there. All right. It's perfect. What is that right there? What is that right there? What is that right there? Welcome to the neighborhood, boys! The prey managed to spot the trackers and get a head start. got screwed up. I figured they'd be down walking down the trail and they came in, come in the bush over a bit of a hill and saw my horse. Ran back across the road almost past Barry. We're too fast for you. You're not talking. They just yelled back in here. You've done really well, buddy. You've kept up with us. You've kept up with us. I know my limitations. You're an old man. That's your limitations. <laughs> Well, and you got a small horse. <laughs> shh, shh, dude, cut the dialogue. That's part of his plan. Yeah, yeah. Cut the dialogue. One thing about these guys, seeing as I have their compass, they're gonna need a trail here to use as a guide to get somewhere. They get going through the bush, they'll be lost for weeks. It was basically an ambush. They tried to get us from both sides. I went to the right, because I saw the guy on the horse. I was from Garfield. And then as soon as I came in, the track would go, welcome to the neighborhood, boys. Do they think we're deaf? Guys, look at that. He's a punk. No, yeah. don't get caught up with that, though, man. No, no. They're using that to their advantage. How do you mm -hmm. think they locate us? Mm -hmm. This trail's getting bigger. That heads towards Limberlost. I know that one. That's the way out. Well, let's go down here and try to find a place to set something up. They're going to be spooked at this intersection. Let me go and check for hooves. You keep your eye on check. Hey. They've gone on ahead. I see some hoof prints. They've gone. They, yeah, they went up this way. Come on. None's going back. Come on, man. That's where I want him to go. We can catch him in that. We can run through that. No joke. No compass. The only thing we can do is follow the trail. They've stuck together every time, so the best thing for you to do is follow me. If they split up, they split up. If we don't catch them now, I don't think the finish line can be that much farther. There's just three kilometers to go until the finish, so one way or another, the chase is almost over. There's a crossing. That could be an ambush. Okay, let's get a little closer. Okay, stay with me. Hey, hey, hey. Prince, careful. I smell a trap. Let's go. He's coming hard. He's behind us. They split up. down here, just like toast. I, I looked back and I saw Garfield kind of hunched over and I, I, I thought he was caught. I thought he was caught, you know? So I was like, you know, I got to do it for him, you know? 
You know, if he's caught, let me put everything on my shoulders and just make it through, you know? Man Tracker creeps through the bush in search of any sign of his prey. Al may have lost Man Tracker, but his troubles aren't over yet. The mind wanted to go there, but the body just... The body couldn't do it. I wanted to so bad, man. I guess, the, you know, the, 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 the trenching through everything is just, just too much for it. Oh, 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 oh. I tried to push. I, tr I was trying hard, man. I wanted to just leave everything out there, you know? I can't make it. This is after four knee surgeries, you know? You know the thing is? I saw him every time. Every single time. He couldn't catch me, man. He couldn't catch me. Yeah, I think I see him. Al ends the battle once and for all and surrenders to Man Tracker. After you, sir. What okay. guy? I'm hurting. He doesn't even offer me a ride. Punk. If I had a rock right now, I'd bust it in the back, throw him off and take the horse. I'm hobbling through, he's up on. I can't say enough good about those guys. They're awesome competitors. What really amazes me is things like Al, when he said today, he said, I've never spent this much time in the bush in my entire life. What they did was awesome. Uh, let me take my time down there. Oh, man. I got you, man. Check it forward, man. <laughs> Hoping I didn't disappoint you, man. My bad, dog. Tracker was just relentless on us throughout the day. Uh, he, he was like a bloodhound. He had our scent, he had our trail, he had our tracks. Nothing I have ever done will ever compare to this. I, I don't know if anything that I'll ever do will compare to this, but this, this is a test of body and mind. And There's no losing this tracker. There is no getting away from him. It's tough, man. We tracked you guys for a couple days, but I hope oh, that good health and good fortune follow you all your lives. Thank you, man. It means a whole lot, man. Terry, Ladies. thanks. Let my people go. Go down, Moses, to Egypt's land. Tell all my people we got to go. <laughs> Come on, man. You